Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Viktor Dmitrich Huliganov. And I would like to have a little rant this evening. Um, basically, to ask for the world's assistance with a problem. In particular, I would like to ask for the assistance of scientists, engineers, developers, and uh, merchant bankers, um, people interested in investing in speculative projects. We have a problem now in the world, and this problem is little bits of plastics floating about in the world's oceans. And the reason why this has become a problem is that plastics are not breaking down. People don't actually go and put little pieces of plastic into the sea deliberately. Usually they are ending up getting carried there in one or another water course, um, or they are getting uh, broken down uh, in the landfills at the top and then getting carried by the wind. But one way or another, tiny pieces of not biodegrading plastic have now gone into the ocean so that in many places there is as much tiny pieces of plastic floating about in the upper layers of the ocean as there is of zooplankton. And zooplankton is a very important kind of plankton because it is a part of food chain. Uh, apart from the fact of plastics blocking out some of the light going deeper into the ocean and blocking out as a space for the planktons to be in. Uh, it also causes problem because the many animals which are eating the planktons cannot discriminate between the plankton that they need to eat and the little pieces of plastic going into their mouths with the zooplanktons. So you're getting fishes and birds which are turning up with their f stomachs full of these plastics. The plastics do not biodegrade either in the digestive tracts and so these animals are dying because their stomachs are full of plastic blocking their system. Of course as plastic degrades it also gives uh, rise to various poisons in the organism and this is poisoning also the meat uh, that we are getting through the food chain uh, coming back also onto our tables in the end. But basically the planet cannot function normally and the balance that we would have between different kinds of animals and fishes and plants is being disturbed by the presence of so many plastics. And I, Viktor Dmitrievich Kuleganov, I don't like the situation at all. I saw about it on the BBC and uh, it was very disturbing, the report about the the, the plastic swimming about in the seas and I really didn't like to think how much plastic there is there and how much more there will be if we don't stop it soon and also get out the plastic that is there. It seems to me that if you are fishing the um, these things out, yes, if you're fishing out the plastic you will take out zooplankton with the plastic but it is almost inevitable if you are taking out the plastic that some things go with it. If you were to troll it out uh, in the traditional way in which fishes are caught, you would of course take with that far too many fishes at once, and then it would be difficult sorting them out from the plastics at the end. But it seems to me that there must be a way of developing a kind of round net not like a trolling method where you're trolling through the water with it like a sock, but more like a round, uh, round thing. Let me find my tie. It will help to show what I mean exactly. Let's consider this big net like this in the water, always floating just under the set. It's the loop of the tie, and you then bring it in. You bring it in by pulling this, and it's all the time on the water and you bring it in so smaller and smaller and the plastics in there they can't go down too far because they're floating all the time you're doing it gently and you bring it there and effectively the fish will swim down away from this loop they will swim downwards to get out of the way they see they're getting tighter constricting the plastic is still in there 
and then at this point you put a, something underneath it and you bring it up and you take away the plastics of course you've taken as well the rather a lot of zooplankton it can't swim away because it doesn't know what's going on but of course zooplankton you give it the space the free space it will grow back plastics don't multiply from plastics they have to be put there whereas the zooplankton if you give it the space should grow back uh, the important thing is is to leave the fishes out of the equation so this is why you would have a, like a round noose net like this bringing it in like I just show with my tie and just have it floating like a big ring on the surface of the water you will have to, to develop it so that it is very large like some kilometers of diameter of this big ring bring it in slowly 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 and then have all the plastics brought up onto the boat the plastics can then be taken off to be recycled again and if not recycled then at least used up as a fuel they can be burned in the smelting of iron or other uh, industrial uses in any event better that than putting them into the water again or onto landfills so my suggestion is I want a scientists who can develop the technology I need an engineer who can build it and I need the merchant banks and venture capitalists who can put it all together I'll do the business plan I need also people interested in taking recycled plastic and using it in there uh, for a fuel or to recycle so basically I need to put this all together and get the plastic out of the oceans and if you want to be part of it please give a, uh, a comment or a video response saying that you want to be part of the um, Seas Free of Plastic initiative and we will try to put together a very big fleet of plastic uh, recycling um, netting boats and put them out on the ocean and get out uh, all of the plastic which is in there uh, and free up the zooplankton, free up the food chain. If we don't do this, then it will poison us. It will add to the problems already caused by global warming and it will cause very big imbalance to the ecosystem of the oceans. We have to get the plastic back out again. We have to develop a system which enable the getting out of the of the plastics back out of the ocean. Okay? And with this patent of mine, with the tie, but except it's not really a little tie, it's a very very big net designed to catch the tiny bits of plastic which is just floating just at the surface of the water. The top is just poking out of the water, the bottom is maybe like a few meters deep, it's like a big ribbon in a, in a, in a big loop. You draw in the loop, you put it small like the tie getting smaller and smaller and there is your plastic in the middle, you take it out and you, you take it for recycling is my invention so please to to uh, come together with me on this and to save the planets together um, so that we can give to the children something better than what we got today thank you for listening and please to join in the project